I'm approaching my mid 40s, which under UK law technically makes me a grumpy old man. Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan and thank you for joining me in this week's Thursday's Thought. So why am I being a grumpy old man then? Well, it's because this week I've been thinking about what my biggest bushcraft bugbear is. Yay, one take. Try saying that, biggest bushcraft bugbear. I've been thinking about what it is. Now, because I'm legally and technically a grumpy old man, there's loads of things I could say here. I could say it's people taking everything that they own out with them, including the kitchen sink and a spare kitchen sink and calling it bushcraft. I could say that it's people confusing wild camping with trespassing, but I'm not gonna go for either of those things. The biggest bushcraft bugbear for me is actually one of my biggest bugbears. It's just unfortunate that I see it when I'm out in the woods and things, and that is litter. Now, let me be clear what I mean about this. I'm not necessarily talking about people who don't adhere to leave no trace. Clearly littering is leaving a trace. So when I talk about littering, I'm talking about leaving food wrappers, drink cartons, drinks bottles, cans, that sort of thing outside. I'm not talking about people who perhaps have a fire and don't, don't um, tidy it away, don't um, repair the ground to look as if nobody's been there. I'm not talking about people who put up a debris shelter and then leave that shelter up. Yes, they are having an impact on the environment. No, they are not removing all trace of themselves being there. They're not adhering to leave no trace. But on some occasions, some occasions, I'm not saying all, I think their behaviour is sometimes excusable because it could be down, it could be down to just ignorance. Maybe if it's somebody doing this for the first time, they just don't realise that the expectation is that they clear their fire away after them. Maybe they don't realise that the expectation is to take their debris shelter down and leave the environment as it was when they turned up to begin with. Maybe maybe there's an element of um, of ignorance and lack of knowledge lack of education around what they should be doing i can't extend that forgiveness to littering i don't think there are many places where littering is is a common everyday excusable habit yes i've been to places in the world where a blind eye is turned to it because there are far bigger problems in the country than littering, some, some really developing countries, some war-torn countries, things like that. Most people who go out bushcrafting are not in those sorts of countries, are not in those sorts of environments. And that's why I don't think littering is excusable. There is no excuse for you littering, not for you, you per se, but there is no excuse for us as a community to be going out littering when we go out bushcrafting. And that's why it's my biggest bushcraft bugbear. But what's yours? What's the one thing that you see or hear either outdoors or perhaps people doing online and, and, and telling stories about what they're doing outdoors? What's the one thing that is guaranteed to raise the hackles on the back of your neck? What's the one thing that's guaranteed to spike your blood pressure in relation to your bushcraft bugbears? Do let me know down in the comments below, wherever you're watching and viewing this. Thank you, as always, for watching. Thank you for, uh, for letting this grumpy old man rant on for just a few minutes. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, there's been a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Why not click on that and keep updated on all my future video uploads? Like, share, subscribe, all the usual balani at the end of a video. I'll see you really soon. Cheers.